With the weather overall improving, the conditions are perfect for snake mating season. Who knew? Well, snakes are becoming more and more active, and as a result, one hiker is recovering at UK tonight from a venomous bite. LEX 18's Michael Burke has more from Daniel Boone National Forest. The woman who was bitten by a venomous copperhead snake was lucky. She was only at the very beginning of the Martins Fork Trail, close to civilization, close to help. But if you happen to be buried deep in the woods and it happens to you, Here's what you need to know. Damian Burns and his friends are ready for a solid hike before an overnight campout. And as veterans of these trails, they're prepared for just about anything, including snakes. Look around. Yeah. Just make sure you look around and you scope the area out before you sit down. Good advice, but not always enough to avoid an unwelcomed encounter. They're getting increasingly active. An active copperhead like this one got its teeth into a hiker earlier this week. Cat Shoemaker is a keeper with the Reptile Zoo in Slade. Watch where you're putting your hands and feet, especially if you have to step over an obstacle, a large rock, a fallen log. But if that's not enough and you're simply snake bit? The ideal window for receiving antivenom, if that is what you need, is about two hours. Long pants and proper footwear with socks that rise over the ankles can help, but if you should happen to see one of these guys? You don't have to run for your life, but skirt around it, give it adequate space. Cat added that not every venomous snake will release venom with each bite, but if it does, you will know and you'll need to act quickly. Covering the news in the Daniel Boone National Forest from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom, let's send it back to you. Important, you need to think about it, Michael. Thank you.